The second week of Jazz in the Park has officially wrapped up with performances from several jazz musicians, including a band with North Alabama ties. News 19's Josiah Elmore has the story. Jazz music flooded the air of Big Spring Park Sunday night as hundreds packed in to hear the smooth jazz. The weekly September event brings premier jazz performers right here to the Rocket City. But this week's opener was produced in a Huntsville City school. In general, a jazz band formed with kids from New Century and Lee High School kicked off the night of music. Jonah Johnson is a senior saxophone player in the band. Johnson says he was ecstatic for the chance to play Sunday night. It's an absolutely fantastic opportunity. I'm so happy to be out here and to share me and my fellow band members' gifts out to everybody here. And it really means it really means the world that I get to do this in front of so many people and make just a happy little impact in people's lives through the music I make. Reginald Pearson is the Lee High School band director. He says playing the event is all about the exposure. Education is exposure, and today we get an, an opportunity to expose our students um, to the city of Huntsville. They get an opportunity to show off their talents. Also, they get an opportunity to see professional musicians perform, and it's our hope and prayer that they're able to share their gifts and also learn something um, at the same time. In Huntsville, Josiah Elmore, News 19. Jazz in the Park will continue on Sundays in Big Spring Park for the next two weeks. You can find the full lineup on our website, whnt.com.